Wigan Athletic have been through a lot recently. Uh, with a financial takeover on the horizon and normality looking like it's about to be restored to the club, we are going to take on the challenge of returning Wigan to glory. Welcome to the new career mode on the KJB channel. This is the new career mode on the KJB channel. This is replacing the six nationality career mode for the time being. Like I said, that's just being put on an indefinite pause for the time being. We will come back to that at some point. Don't worry, fans of that series. This is going live on Saturday. I'll be recording next on Tuesday or Wednesday with the aim of getting a video up on one of those days as well. If there's anyone you want me to sign, please let me know in the comments. We've got 2.12 mil and 10k on the wages. There's one signing I really, really want to make. And the rest of it's probably going to go into free agents because this is a squad and it don't look pretty. Anyway, before before anything, let's go through these, these emails. Our visions and expectations of the season be fighting for promotion so I think that means get into the playoffs that's not bad try and do all right in the FA Cup they want us to sign a crucial player make a profit of four and a half million now on this career mode I want to help Wigan out as best I can I want to be able to help them make money and create a really good balance of the book so I want to focus a lot on the youth academy and I don't mind selling players to then reinvest that money into the squad and meet these financial objectives. That's a really easy objective. Five wins in away matches. We've already got a player who can probably make a difference for us. That's not a very good name for this series for us to be saying, but he looks very good. We're going to call him Victor. Victor sounds a lot better. But he looks very good. 63 rated. It's good enough for the first team already. We have gone into the pre-season tournaments. We've chosen one that gave us the most money, as per usual on this channel. I'm just going to be simming them for the time being. If we win, we win. If we go out in the groups, we go out in the groups. I'm not particularly bothered. Hopefully that little bit of money will be good enough for investment. I'm going to be making the signing that I think is going to be the key of the series, and I want the series to revolve around in this episode as well. So you've got that to look forward to. I'm looking at free agents just to improve the squad. We're going to have some time to get into this. No one's listed for sale as of yet and there's a lot of loans that run out of January as well. So we'll try and get a lot of that sorted out. Nice, that's another set of results done. or A's and B's which is very good. Another thing I want to mention for this career mode as well is that a lot of bigger teams tend to have favourite League 1 and League 2 teams to send their players to. And I know we can historically have a bit of a um, relationship, as you could say, with Manchester United. Uh, I'm changing that. As you know uh, by now, all three of us on the KJB channel are fans of Leicester. So I might just keep an eye on Le Leicester youngsters. I'm going to use this career mode as a bit of an excuse to see how some of them get on. Because you don't normally get to use them when you play as Leicester in the like, proper career modes. Right, our first transfer offer is for Jamie Jones. He's not going anywhere. He's good enough for now. So we're out of the pre-season tournament. Two draws and a loss. It's not great. But like I said at the start, if we're out, we're out. It's not that bothered. We've got a little bit of extra money. There you go. Another 315k. It's not that bad. Just had a quick look through the contracts, checking whether there's anyone on release clauses or not. As of yet, there's not. The only problem with Wigan again is that they're all on one year contracts at the start of a career mode. I think that's due to the financial difficulties in real life. Yeah, we're going to try and solve that and help them out. So we're just going to offer some contracts exactly the same wage to players to just see if they'll sign on longer deals. See, if you look here, both our starting centre backs currently are on loan. So that's definitely not a good sign. Like I said, I kind of want to keep Darnell Johnson after. So if we can, I'm going to try and sign him permanently or try and load him, load him in again. Because I think he's a real good young talent. I'd love to see him get some minutes at Leicester. But on his career mode, this could be the chance for him to shine. Again, Tom James, our only right back of the club, is another position we're going to have to try and sign in. 
So that's all done. Contracts have been sorted out on the most part. The other thing I've done is transfer list a number of players. Anyone under 55 rated, I've either transfer listed or loan listed. Just see if they go. I'm going to quickly run through some development as well. So I'll let you know if anything comes of that. Owen Evans looks like he could probably decent for us. So development plan's just going to be probably balanced. Pierce looks really, really good. So I want him to be a defensive wing back on his training. Obi as a defensive centre back. Darnell Johnson again as a defensive centre back. I think Lee Evans we're going to have as a deep line playmaker and try and sign like a ball winning midfielder or an anchor man next to him. So that's a position we want to improve. Solomon October, he can be a wide playmaker so I can get his skills up. Gonna set Garner as a poacher just so we can try and keep his finishing stats up, just so he's still a decent goal scorer this season. That is it. That is everyone on a development plan who we think needs to be as well. So we've got some decent players. I'm still waiting on some scout reports back, and we're probably gonna look at some free agents first of all, alongside the player who I think's gonna be key for this series. Don't know if I've explained this, I've explained it in a previous series, but we'll go again. The reason I'm playing all of the drills is because it will simulate your best grade every time. So if you can get an A or a B, it just means every time you click simulate on the next time you do the drills, it automatically gives you that previous ranking. So it's best just to play them at least once, try and get the high score you can possible, and then that makes life a lot easier going forward. See, I'd love to be playing a Norwegian called Asgard, but it's just not going to happen. First and foremost, I think we're going to need a centre back. I've got two players I'm scouting who are Dunn and Kilman. I'd love to get one of them, but they're probably more long term signings. I don't know whether to go in for Ashraf or whether to go in for Mago. I'm going to go in for Delpino Mago. And it says we can offer him between 2 and 3.6k a week. We're just going to delegate these. So if we start off at yeah, we're just going to go for it. See what he says. And secondly, we would like a CDM or a centre mid. By the way, this is the player who I want to revolve for career mode around. This is Karamoko Dembele, and you're going to see an awful lot of him on this channel. Trust me about that. We might have already made a very good signing on the QPR career mode, which should go live tomorrow, by the way. So keep your eyes peeled for that. We finish off a transfer window in that. But this is the guy I want to build this Wigan team around. I just think 17 year old, I know he's like 62 or 63 rated, but he's so good. Some people might say I'm obsessed. Maybe. I just want to believe in the kid's hype and hope that he is as good a player as I reckon he could be. Next player we're signing, James Jago. Again, just offering what, what he's asking for. Just shores up that midfield position very nicely indeed. And look at that. See what I mean with these drills? We've played them all. We've got A's and B's. It simulates the best results. Just means match sharpness is going up very nicely indeed. Okay, so f first of all, um, Pino Del Mago, or Del Pino Mago even, has not accepted at Wigan, which is fair enough. We will go in for Ashraf instead then. And here's some transfer offers. So, yep, you can go for 200k. Gavin Massey is going nowhere because he's very good for this level. That's almost tempting for a 32 year old to get three quarters of a mil for him. I'm going to delegate and if we can get... We're going to offer a mil to start with and if we can get over 850k we'll accept it and try and reinvest that into a younger striker. Here is Karamoka Dembele, 63 rated, very fast, decent at dribbling, on this game, I love the development plans because you can make those players exactly what you want them to be. We're just going to go straight in and try and buy him. So he's got 12 months left on his contract. We can get him for about 1.4 million. I'm going to make an offer at like 1 million. If I don't accept it, then we'll see. The game's still not sorted itself out. We still come in, full kit wanker. Yeah, offer a mil, 15%. What do they say? Oh no. Oh dear, oh dear. We have to try again. I've played this career mode offline 
I played till the first game and we got him for about 1.4 mil. On the QPR we got him for about a million. This is not a good sign. <laughs> going to offer Ashraf a contract he's a free agent he is one player that I did sign when I did this career mode offline I signed Ashraf and I signed Jego both of them were quite good I only played two games and the reason I decided to do this series at all was because I really enjoyed playing it offline so we're going to try and recreate what we did Joseph has sold and Ashraf has signed for Wigan Athletic so our very first signing is Amen Ashraf Welcome to the club, the 29-year-old Egyptian. And the second player, straight in again, James Jego. Crucial first team player again. Just bolsters up that midfield tenfold. Very, very good signing. Yeah, we've got two more transfer offers. One for Piggott, one for Cragshaw. Yeah, again, these guys can both go. They're not going to get in the first team anytime soon. Right, Dembele, take two. We're going 1.3 million and 20% sell on clause. And there we go. Just like that. I'm going to say, I don't want to miss out on this young lad. This is the guy we want to build this team around. His weekly wage is 1.1k. At least raise it a little bit. There you go. On the eve of the first game of the season, we've had both players sell and Dembele has accepted a contract. Welcome to the club, our future star now, Karamoko Dembele. What a bargain this is going to be going forward. I don't get this. He started off as 63 rated, but his highest could be 74. I don't think that's right. I reckon if we got him into the first team, we could get him better than that. And his stats look alright. I tell you what. I'm going to promote him. And... We're going to train him up to be a cam. And these other two can keep in the academy for now and hopefully grow a bit. Well, we're gonna buy another scout for 155k, and we're gonna send these both out. So you can go to England, and hopefully find a gem, and you can go to, let's go Wales, and hopefully find us a gem. So that's quite a bit of wage gone on that, but, We've still got 946k, we've still got 5k on the wage budget, if we adjust that, there's plenty of room. We're still after a right back and a cam, there's no real rush for it. If we don't get it this episode or next one, our squad's more than good enough till January and we could maybe look at a sale or two then. In the meantime, let's get League One underway and play Peterborough. The only thing I'll say is Victor is already one of the highest rated players in and around our bench as well is quite scary all things considered. To be honest this is a lot better than I thought we were going to be. For winning League One I'm aiming for like a full 65 rated squad and then try and improve that by three ratings every year going forward. So end of next season I'd like them all to be about 68 rated. Just so then we're showing continuous development but this is how we're going to line up for probably the majority of the season. Like I've said a couple of times now we're after a cam because Gary Roberts is 34 or 36 what is it 36 and he's not getting any younger and james is only on loan till january as well so we are after those two positions please help me out in the comments here we go playing at the fake dw stadium to get this underway the journey begins wigan athletic versus peterborough karamoko is making his start ashraf and jego are both in the team just these three signings have increased for teams just worth tenfold both very good rated free agents we've got we just want to try and control the game as do as well in this league as possible it's quite nice as well Ashraf's a left footed centre back you don't get too many of them here he is Dembele's through Cliff goal oh he's put us one nil up this is what I mean when I say this kid is special 17 years old, 6 minutes into your debut. They gave him way too much space to run. He's got him behind with his pace. It's a very good finish at the near post. Just hit it hard. Keeper don't stand too much of a chance. 1-0 up already. Massey, finesse, edge of the box. Forces a save from the keeper. I want to say another reason I chose Wigan as well is because I've been kind of following Wigan as like a second team to an extent. 
for the last maybe four years now. And they've had it rough since winning the FA Cup. They've gone through managers like it's nothing. Nick Powell's completely saved the day. It's just been amazing. I only know this as well because I work with a guy from Wigan. He's a great guy. He's been like the reason I've been following Wigan. I have a chat with him, keep up to date with him. I'm pretty sure Wigan as well have this um, mascot that is just a big pie as well, which is just amazing. Wigan are just this club that it's became a bit of a banter club, but we're here to take them back to the top, back to the Premier League where they did so well for so many years. Oh no, he's, through. he's doing drag backs. What a tackle, Ashraf. Half time. 1-0 up, Dembele the goal scorer. It's not a bad first home game. Not a lot of chances after though. Defending, let's go. Plays it over Massey. Get the ball in Garda. It's two. That was a very weird run. But it does not matter at all. We're 2 0 up. What a first game this is. Just cuts back. Look, he goes around the defender, comes back in, manages to get his head around the ball and then back in. That is a very good bit of attacking play. It's Gary Roberts as well. It isn't even Garner. I think my mistake in the six nationality career mode was I was letting the defenders run out way too much. So what I want to do is really focus on using the CDMs for Cam to press. I've got really energetic players in that position. That was a really crap ball though. Let the defence keep the line as well. There we go, look, we've won it back. Now Massey's breaking. Look at the pace we've got on the counter. Dembele, can he make it too? He's fluffed the shot, he's been put under pressure. Weird ball back out to the wing and he's offside. That was such a waste, they could have shot there. I'm going to be playing Victor as a cam and taking Roberts off just because I think playing in there is going to help him develop a lot quicker. He's going to help us with the pace on the counter. I'm going to bring Solomon on for Dembele as well who's had a fantastic game. See what I mean? Defender was a last resort there. It's worked out well. Look at the break run now. Let's just hit it first time with Massey. It's not really gone. Victor couldn't get there either. Ashraf again. He's been very good on his debut. Got her. There we go. That's the third. It's about time we scored on one of his breaks. Yeah, look at that. It's, a, it's like a third or fourth 3v2 at the back. And we finally made him pay for it. Garner just on the turn, diverts it towards the corner, keepers stood way over to the other side, it's free. Look at that, we haven't switched off at the back, still doing well. That's it, 3-0 win against Peterborough. Three very very good new sidings, I'm going to call it the episode there. This, I've had a lot more fun recording this than I have done the six nationality. If you have enjoyed, please leave a like on the video. If you've got anyone you want me to sign, especially at a cam or a right back, preferably right back, we've only got about a mil in the budget. We haven't got much on the wage, so please let me know anyone you'd like to see me sign. Uh, subscribe, please. We're trying to hit 50 subscribers by Christmas. If you help out of that, it will be massively appreciated. And I hope to see you in episode number two, which will go live on Tuesday or Wednesday next week. I'll catch you next time. Bye.